Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of the eight stages of so psychosocial development, if I can say it. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about this stage. It has a couple different names. One of them you can see in the title, Industry versus Inferior Inferiority. Why can't I speak today? I hope this doesn't rub off on the next video. <laughs> Um, but another name for this stage is called the elementary school stage, which makes sense since this takes place between the ages of 6 and 12, where basically the idea is your, a child's mindset starts to compare to other individuals. You know, you know the phrase that people use a lot where it's just like, they're out of my league or I'm out of their league. It's that stage. This That stage determines that aspect. I find it interesting, personally, how it, that's where that comes from. It actually comes from developing one's mind. But at the same time, it does make a lot of sense. Like, back when I was in high school, the league I was in was I, I was a choir person. I sang a lot. I also did... I, if it had something to do with music, I did it. Let's leave it at that. Um, anybody who was in sports, they were out of my league. Whether above or below, doesn't really matter. They were out of my league because they were a completely different category of individual. For the most part. What I find interesting about this stage of industry versus inferiority is that it doesn't always apply in the way a lot of people think stereotypically. Put it this way. Back when I was in high school, I actually had friends who were in football, who, who played football, and that stuff was never my thing. A lot of people would say that a cheerleader or a football player would have been out of my league, but I had friends from both categories. I was close to people from both categories as well. This was also when I first started high school, so that kind of says a lot. I never did any kind of sport kind of thing aside from like the side stuff where I'd be helping out just to occupy my own personal time. This was long before I had interest in what I do now. Um, more or less. Actually, that's not true, but that's a story for a different day. No, no, that is true. I'm going to confuse myself if I continue on. Point of this is that yes, industry versus inferiority does kind of impact that idea. The funny thing, though, is what I'm describing is the industry side. Inferiority, that side, is when people really start to go, you belong there, you belong there, you belong there, you need to go down there, you do not belong there, get out. Like, people who do that, that's the inferiority side. The industry side of it is like, okay, let's balance this out. You guys seem to get along, okay. Oh, you seem to get along with those people, that's fine, go ahead. Just make sure you let them do their thing first, like that kind of thing. Industry is the category that I've always followed, fallen under, but there are a lot. That's a, This is an understatement, but there are a lot of people who fall under the idea of inferiority. And it stretches on, yes, to high school, about 18 years old, 19, 20, it depends on when you graduate, it depends on what you're going through, your circumstance. Um, but it definitely starts at the, it's it should honestly this stage should have been called the school stage <laughs> rather than the elementary school stage because that matches a lot better. When you're in elementary school, you can't you don't have much to compare to. You, you don't have the peers there's not much to compare to because a lot if I feel like during the el, during elementary school a lot of kids now don't quote me on this because it's just personal thought, personal feeling based off personal experience. But I feel like a lot of elementary school kids have two categories. Ew, boys! Ew, girls! That's about it. Um, there are some things, but they're very minor at the time. They're still developing their personality traits. I feel like industry versus inferiority, maybe at the time the idea came out, this would make more sense. But given modern day, it just doesn't make sense to have it be during elementary school middle school sure because it's also happening 
during the time of the complex of it happens during adolescence which is definitely middle school no uh it's definitely not elementary it's definitely during middle school and um high school or if you prefer junior high instead for i don't know middle school junior high your choice regardless it this is one of those few stages where regardless of where you look you'll find that it develops maybe starts in elementary school but keeps going all the way through adulthood you always categorize yourself you'll always look at groups and go yeah that i'm not for that group or i think i belong here your brain's always going to do that if you're looking for people to hang out with or people to spend time with or just people to be with in general industry versus inferiority is one of those few stages where even regardless of where you look it's always going to tell you that. You can look in textbook where I might find it. You can look on the internet. Most places, from what I've researched on the internet, say the same thing. And personal experience, I can confirm that due to the fact that it didn't really kick in for me until late middle school. Well, actually, I can say either middle school or junior high. I had both. It's basically the same thing. It just depends on where you live, what whether they call it one thing or another. But I digress. These are kind of just my simple thoughts on industry versus inferiority. How about you guys? Do you guys have any thoughts on the particular this particular stage? Next time we will be talking about identity versus role confusion, which is something that I really need to look deep into because on this channel we've been talking about psychology for a while and that digs deep into psychology on its own. But for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of the eight stages of psychosocial development. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about psychological kind of stuff all the time. Historical stuff too, like for history talk and stuff like that. We're trying to branch out more and more as, we, as more of you start watching this channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to be discussed on here, um, let us know in the comments below. But if you want to check out the rest of the series of the eight stages of psychosocial development, click the link on the side of my head where you'll find that. The other side will actually have a link to whatever you might enjoy outside of this, whether you enjoy this or not. If neither quite float your boat, why not check the channel itself? You'll have a variety of over 1,200 videos at this point. In the meantime, we're going to head off. Thanks again for watching this episode, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another video. Bye for now.